I am Adil Kumar sharing with you limits of functions. We will now consider limits of functions involving absolute functions. Now as you know absolute functions are actually piecewise functions which are normally written as absolute value of x is equal to x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and minus of x when s is less than 0. Right? Here we have two questions. First one is limit. When x approaches minus 5, for x plus 5 divided by absolute value of x plus 5. The second one here is, the numerator portion we have cubed it. Perfect. You can now pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's try to understand the function absolute value of x plus 5, right? Now, when we say absolute value of x plus 5, it really means what? It means the function is x plus 5 when x is greater than or equal to minus 5, correct? And is negative of x plus 5 when x is less than minus 5. That's what it means, right? So, so the concept behind is something like this. If I have x plus 5, x plus 5 is basically a line right so so it's a line which is kind of like this where this point is 5 for you right and the function is 0 at this point so this is the line x plus 5 now when I say absolute value of x plus 5 absolute value is always positive so this portion gets reflected so that becomes absolute value of x plus 5 is that clear so that is that negative portion which we're talking about, right? Negative of x plus 5. Do you see that portion? It gets reflected on the x-axis, right? Since absolute functions are piecewise functions, we should always solve this question in two parts, right? So one part will be when x is less than a value which makes it 0. In this case, minus 5 makes it 0. The right side of this is when it is greater than or equal to minus 5, correct? And that's the definition of this. So on the left side, when you are approaching from the left side, we could write this question as limit x approaches negative 5 from left, which means minus, right, on top here. Then the function becomes x plus 5 over this absolute value will be now written as minus of x plus 5. Is that clear to you? So that is critical to understand. Now if you are looking into the right side of minus 5, then we will write the same question as x approaching minus 5 plus. That plus means approaching from the right side. In that case, the denominator will be what? It will be x plus 5. Now, this you could write as limit x approaches minus 5 from the left side and x plus 5 divided by minus of x plus 5 is basically minus 1. On the right side, you get the limit x approaches minus 5 from the right side, and this is just 1. Now, 1 is a constant, and therefore, the limit is going to be the constant, which is minus 1 from the left side, and is equal to plus 1 on the right side. So, what we notice here, that these two limits are not the same. So, we can say that the limit... When x approaches minus 5 from the left side, for the given function is not equal to the limit when x approaches minus 5 from the right side for the same function, right? We're calling this as f of x, right? Therefore, the limits do not exist for the given question, right? So that is how you're going to solve it. I hope the steps are absolutely clear, right? Now, if you sketch this function, it will look like what? Let's also sketch the function. That may be an exercise sometimes, very important exercise. Now, at this point, which is minus five, what we saw that it is just a constant one, right? So, so if you include the five on the right side, that is how it is going to look like. And on the left side, it is minus 1 and look like this, right? 
So that is how the function is going to look like. This is our function f of x. Do you see a discontinuity? As you approach from the left side, you are approaching minus 1. When you approach from the right side, you are approaching plus 1. And the limit does not exist at minus 5. Perfect. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now once you have understood this, I like you to pause the video, answer part B yourself and then look into my solution. Now let's take it on a new page. So here we have the function x plus 5 whole cube divided by absolute value of x plus 5. We need to find the limit when x approaches minus 5. So as we said earlier, absolute value of x plus 5 could be defined as positive x plus 5 for x greater than or equal to minus 5 as negative of x plus 5 for x less than negative 5. So this piecewise function limits should be done in two pieces, right? So, so we'll divide this page in two parts. Check limits from the left side and also from the right side. So we'll look into the domain when x approaches minus 5 from the left side. That is from the left side. And also when x approaches minus 5 from the right side. That plus indicates right side. Is that clear? So it's more or less the same approach. So we get here limit x approaches minus 5 from the left side. The numerator is x plus 5 whole cube. The denominator, however, will be written as negative of x plus 5. When you're approaching from the right side, then limit x approaches minus 5 from the right side will be for the function x plus 5 whole cube divided by positive value of x plus 5. So, cancelling x plus 5, what do we get? We get x approaches negative 5 from negative side. This negative sign is here. And in the numerator, we have x plus 5 to the power of 2, since one of the factors have cancelled. On the right side, we have limit x approaches minus 5 from the right side, one of the factors cancel, we get x plus 5 whole square. Clear? So that's what we get. Now, if I substitute minus 5 here, what do I get? I get minus minus 5 plus 5 whole square, which is negative 0 and negative 0 really means 0, right? On this side, if I substitute minus 5, what do I get? So when I substitute minus 5, I get minus 5 plus 5 whole square, which is 0. So what we notice here is that the limit when x approaches from the left side of negative 5 for the given function, let's call it g of x. Okay, let's call this function g of x is equal to the limit when x approaches negative 5 from the right side for this same function g of x. And both the limits are equal to 0. Since the limits exist, we know it has a limit as x approaches minus 5. So our answer here is 0. Does it make sense to you? Now if you are supposed to sketch this graph, then the graph will look like what? Well, as you can see here, on the right side, it is a parabola, which is kind of like this, right? And on the left side, it is again a parabola, but reflected. So it is kind of like this. So that is the graph of the function. And you can clearly see that at minus 5, the limit is 0. So you can approach minus 5 from both the directions. You are approaching one fixed value, which is 0. So in this case, the limit exists. Correct? Is that clear? So that is a very, very important conclusion. But for all absolute functions, you have to split them as you have shown here and then solve for it. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching 
and all the best